Okay, we've got uh, the earthquake and the rock crusher. We built a stand for the rock crusher and uh, ran it a little while ago on some material. And uh, this thing really works good. I'm going to tell you, I was really impressed. This is uh, extremely fine material here. Um, I I'm really impressed. This is going to run good on the shaker table. Um, does not like wet material it clogged up here's uh the wet material and you can see that it just it just clogged up real bad on wet material but uh ran dry uh samples that i had i went ahead and mixed a whole bunch of samples together to speed up recovery and uh this thing worked great and uh it does uh we built a stand but we've got a add uh, let me see if I can show you you can see the the port right here where it comes out uh, there is some distance between that and the bucket so we're going to uh, put a little hose right here a little fabric hose and uh, that way we can uh, cut some of the dust down because it does kick up a lot of dust because this thing is is extremely fine this is material that was run a second time and uh, you can see this is very very good results very impressed with uh, Keen's engineering on this well worth the money that'll run great on the shaker table like I said we we uh, built a stand got a hole in it size of a bucket and then we've got it just lightly strapped down for now but it uh, doesn't go anywhere and uh, this will work good on the uh, out in the field it's the right height to where we can just dump a bucket right into it we don't have to bend over but eventually we'll get a conveyor to feed it you have to feed it slow uh, feed it too fast it bogs the engine down which I can understand so we'll just uh, feed it slower and uh, it works great I'm very impressed with it